Hello everyone, welcome. Today I would like to talk about the range of a projectile. First of all, I may need to remind you that projectile is a body which is projected with some initial velocity making an angle theta to the horizontal which is different from 0 and 90. So let it is x axis, that this is y axis. So I know its velocity can be resolved into components as velocity in this direction is ux, u cos theta. We have explained all this in the previous course. So velocity along the y direction is uy. We also know that uy is nothing but u sin theta. As the time progresses, it moves along x axis, it also moves along y axis. We have proved that its path is parabola. We have proved that equation. We have also proved that it covers certain displacement x along x axis. The displacement x is nothing but equal to u cos theta into t. As the time progresses, it also covers certain displacement along y axis. y is nothing but u sin theta into t minus half g t square. In the previous post, we have derived an equation for time of flight. This is nothing but the time taken to complete its journey. End of the journey body is going to come back to the ground. Therefore, end of the time of the flight t, the displacement equal to 0. So, we have just equated this equation to 0 and I got an equation for the time of flight. That is nothing but equal to 2u sin theta by g. Now, I got an equation for time of flight. I know that end of the time of the flight body came back to the origin therefore it has some displacement along x axis some displacement along x axis with time it's very clear if time t is time of flight maximum possible time its displacement along x axis is also maximum that maximum displacement of a projectile is called as range of a projectile so I know the equation for x we have already written an equation for x as u cos theta into t u cos theta if t is time of light x is going to become range that's it I know the equation for the time of light already we have derived to u sin theta by g so what will be my answer u and u u square 2 sin theta cos theta and g therefore I got an equation for the range as u square you know, as for the trigonometry, 2 sin theta cos theta is nothing but uh, sin 2 theta. The equation for the range is nothing but uh, u square sin 2 theta by g. This is nothing but the maximum horizontal distance uh, travelled by a projectile during its uh, time of the flight and uh, journey. That's the equation that I want to derive. Anyway, I would like to add one small point to this discussion, right? If this range to be maximum to a given velocity say I have a maximum possible velocity I have given I am not going to change it I don't have a choice to change it g is change it like you are throwing something maximum possible velocity that initially you can give you have given but you still you want to throw it to a maximum horizontal distance sin 2 theta has to be maximum that's nothing but equal to 1 that implies sin is 1 for 90 degree theta has to be 45 degree so if you throw any body with an angle equal to 45 degree it's going to travel maximum horizontal distance during its uh, time of flight that's why this javelin throw disc throw all the players try to shoot it into the air with an angle 45 right thank you i'll continue this discussion further